Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic in the Be Like Jesus series is the only root. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 14 and verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Jesus was unequivocal about the authorized route to eternal life. And today I want to be just as unequivocal as he was. When I was growing up, we were taught that once you were baptized and a member of the denomination I was in then, you were assured of salvation. There are people who still believe this today. Please, I beg you in the name of all that you hold dear. This is a lie from the pit of hell. And if you have believed it until now, allow me to sow some doubt in your heart about this. Being baptized, whether as a child or an adult, does not on its own assure you of salvation. Being a member of a church does not automatically secure your salvation. The Bible is clear as to what does. Listen to Romans 10, 9 and 10. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. You can see that there is no mention of belonging to a church or doing a particular ritual. The conditions for salvation are simple. Believing in the death and resurrection of the Christ and confessing that which you believe. I feel strongly in my spirit that there are people listening to me today who have until now felt comfortable because they have believed a lie. There is no other authorized route to everlasting life. In other words, outside of believing in what Jesus did, real heartfelt belief and not just mere mental assent, outside of believing and confessing Jesus as Lord, there is no other way. So today, if you are listening to me and all that you have as your hope for salvation is that you have been a long time member of a denomination or that you were baptized As an infant or you have performed certain rituals, please, you need to secure your salvation today because you are not saved yet. Jesus is not interested in your denomination. In actual fact, I can tell you with authority that Jesus hates the division in the body of Christ, disguising under denominationalism. But that is talk for another day. Please accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and begin your real journey to eternal life. Please pray with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Today, Lord, I believe and I declare that Jesus died for my sin and rose again from the dead on the third day. Today, please, I make Jesus my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for the privilege to start this wonderful journey of faith. Continue to take all the glory, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed or if you prayed that prayer, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.